What's up, everybody? This is the Canes Insight Podcast. Instant reaction. Miami gets a huge tight end commit. Luca Gilbert out of Cincinnati, four-star on the composite, number 12 tight end in the country, commits to the University of Miami. 6.30 p.m., you saw the bat signal. It's 7.14 right now. We're cutting this instant reaction uh, to talk about what Miami is getting with Luca Gilbert. Kane's Inside Podcast is always powered by Ann and Sharon Levine, Accident Attorneys, dial 1-800-747-FREE, 1-800-747-3733 if someone you care about or yourself is injured in an accident. Diving into Luca Gilbert, man. People are excited about what he brings to the table. This is someone that we spoke to on the Kane's Inside Podcast a month ago. We'll play some clips from that interview later on in this show. You can see it on our YouTube channel. Um, six, seven, and a quarter. So, I mean, this guy's massive. He's not a fake 6'7". He's 6'7 plus, 245 lean. Still a lot of room to grow. Massive growth potential was the word I heard when I spoke to sources around the program about what they're getting with him, what they're excited about. Smart and tough. You see the film. This guy is burying people, willing blocker, driving people into the stands, driving people into the sidelines, finishing plays. Even though he's 6'7 and a quarter, he can get low enough and drive guys. And of course, he's only going to get stronger, more physical with more weight. The willingness is there. Uh, elite range and body control. These are the terms used by my sources talking about what Gilbert brings to the table as a receiver. The range speaks for itself, six, seven and a quarter, big wingspan, but he has good body control. He catches the ball with his hands. He's not a goof. He's very coordinated, likely coming from his basketball background. And we'll dive into his basketball stuff in a second. You know, we talked about Miami having a Midwest invasion, making a Midwest invasion. We did a podcast about it last week. Guys like Brock Schott, um, you know, guys in Chicago last year with Justin Scott, Marquise Lightfoot, Epinesa from the St. Louis area. ton of guys last year and this year from the Midwest. Obviously, Luca Gilbert from Cincinnati, Ohio, falls squarely into that category. Miami thinks they can go into these big cities and beat schools like Michigan, Kentucky, Penn State, and Ohio State, the schools that were after Gilbert. Some guys want to leave the weather. Luca Gilbert told us on the podcast when he visited last month, he was very happy to come down to Miami and get out of that cold weather. You can get four-star blue chippers like this if you push hard. Again, Miami did so with Luca Gilbert, and they're very excited about it. By the way, if you look behind me, you see that bat signal, that beautiful canvas I got here of the bat signal. You saw that at 630. When people see that bat signal, they go insane because they know good news is coming, like Luca Gilbert's commit. You want to get this painting? Talk to my man, Suave. He is at Open Slate Apparel. Uh, my, the link is in the bio. You can get canvases like this, great pieces of art. You can get this in poster form. Uh, his Green Tree University line. goes by Kane City Cartel on Instagram. Again, you want to get this painting? Talk to my man, Suave, at Open Slate. He'll take care of you. The link is in the bio. <clears throat> so, talking about Gilbert. We mentioned the body control. And the athleticism, where does that come from? He is a center on the hardwood. We talked to him about that. He mentioned that it helps him with his agility, helps him covering smaller guards when he has to switch on folks and get, putting some of his basketball highlights right here. You can see he's not just a goof. He has a three-point shot. He moves very easily. And there's Ohio. This is Natty. This is tough basketball. This is a, a high level of play. And he fits right in as that big center who can move a little bit. Uses that skill, that rebounding skill, when the ball's up in the air. Contested catches. So you talk about the physicality, which is often lacking with basketball players. He already shows that on the football field. High IQ, so he knows what what how to play, right, according to our coaches, our sources who've dealt with him. Cincinnati's great coaching. He is learning high-level football. So he's not your average multi-sport kid that's raw at tight end. He's pretty advanced at tight end. He just has the athleticism to play back, uh, basketball, and he's going to get bigger. When I spoke um, about to someone about, about Luca Gilbert, they said he is a willing butt kicker, and butt was not the word they used. Again, you saw the huddle highlights of him burying people. He spoke to, to Pete and Brad Tejeda on the Canes Inside podcast, and he had a great quote about what it means to be a dog, a term we hear a lot about. So, Pete, go ahead and play that quote from Luca Gilbert. Dog. Dog is what comes out when you're tired. I feel like everybody's going to be great when you're um, when um, you're feeling good in beginning of the game, first quarter, but I feel like the real dog comes out over time, fourth quarter. That's when the real dog comes, about, comes out, who's the toughest mentally. 
when you're, when you're tired. So that's the mentality you want. That's the mentality you come to expect from the Midwest when you're recruiting in that area, which is why Miami's going there. We talked about it on the podcast last week. What do you get in the Midwest? Big bodies, guys with basketball experience, guys that are well-coached and tough. This guy checks all of those boxes when he comes to Miami. Now, Miami's going to continue to recruit tight ends. They're going to be after Brock Schott. Again, Indiana, Midwest area. More of an H-back offensive weapon athlete than the taller, uh, bigger Luca Gilbert. And then Elias Williams from Georgia, number one tight end in the country. Similar to Gilbert body-wise, probably more of a receiver, more of an athletic guy. Uh, 6'7", tight end who was visiting last weekend. Schott visited earlier in the spring. Gilbert also visited earlier in the spring. So you can see some combination of those two guys making up this tight end class, which would be a home run tight end class for Miami, who is really trying to remake that room. People always ask, is, is Miami going to be thrown to the tight ends? Does this just mean that Miami is trying to get big blocking tight ends? Miami wants to be much more like they were in terms of tight end production when Will Mallory was here than what you saw last year with Cam McCormick. I think the McCormick year was an anomaly. He didn't have Arroyo. Riley Williams was very young. He was a true freshman. I think Mario wants to throw it to the tight ends. Mallory was his top receiver his first year. He threw it to the tight ends in Oregon. And I believe you will see Miami continue to throw it to the tight ends as long as they are adding blue chip talent in the tight end room. Blue chip talent like Arroyo, blue chip talent like Riley Williams, blue chip talent like Elijah Lofton, who's been the star of spring camp so far. And then, of course, blue chip talent like composite four star number 12 in the country, Luca Gilbert. So that's what we got. We're very excited about this commitment. Tune into the Canes Insight Daily Podcast. Like and subscribe. We're coming every single day with recruiting content, the latest, with football practice content. We're going to practice tomorrow, and we're going to be giving you interviews with Canes Connection student athletes. We had Jacoby George on today. We got Marcellus Pulliam coming up. Um, Tommy Kinsler. We already did Horton, Isaiah Horton, um, Ray Ray Joseph, which was an absolutely incredible interview. Wesley Besaith, Popo Aguirre, who was awesome. I mean, just tons of great – Elijah Arroyo, talk about tight ends. So just great kids, great interviews, Savion Riley. We've been pumping them out. We will continue to pump those out along with the daily podcast and the recruiting news, which will be, I promise you, the most exclusive and accurate recruiting info anywhere. You get it for free on the Canes Insight podcast or on the canesinsight.com forums. Subscribe to those. If you want to talk about this Luca Gilbert commitment, that thread is already rocking and rolling. Sign up for those forums for free. We're bringing it to you. Appreciate you. Thank you for tuning into the Canes Insight Instant Reaction Podcast to Luca Gilbert. And we'll see you.